Good morning, everybody. It is the 17th of May and we officially in the UK can go out to a restaurant and eat inside. Outside of the rain, outside of the cold, because it has been, it hasn't been good. It's not been good in the UK. The weather's been pretty crap. I did see, however, this morning that the weather is set to be good next week, from next week. And I've also heard there's gonna be a huge heat wave in June, which is my birthday month. So I'm very happy. But it isn't that cold today. Fingers crossed the rain holds out because we want to have a walk around London. We haven't been in London since last year. I haven't been on a train in God knows how long. So it would just be nice to have a day out, catch up with friends and just feel kind of normal for a day at least. <laughs> so of course, I'm going to be taking you guys with us. The restaurant we're going to is called... Stefania, what's it called? I can't remember. Circlo Popolare. I think that's how you say it. I've looked, they have a vegan menu and it looks delicious. So it's going to be really nice to check that out and try some other plant-based vegan food other than my own because that's all I've been eating. Yes, there is an empty picture frame on the wall. We're actually testing to see because we're going to put six of these frames and then the pictures will be black and white to fill this space. So... <laughs> I just forgot to take that down. Anyway, we better get going because we're going to be late. Normally, we would have a smoothie bowl, but we're skipping the smoothie bowl this morning because we're eating so early and I don't want to be forced. Stefania is not happy. She was like, yeah, surely we can fit a smoothie bowl in this morning. I no, I'm not going to be going to a restaurant with a full belly. But mm. there is one cookie left in the cookie jar. I made mm. some oat and berry cookies. I think I I've did. shared them on my channel, I'll link it here somewhere for you guys to make them, they're delicious. And there is one left in the jar. So I think we can half this eat and that will keep us going until... Until I get to the station and then what? And then when I'm on the train, I need another little snack. You can tell she's very upset. <laughs> We're waiting at the train station <laughs> and the sun's shining. It's so loud. And our train's coming. There's our besties. And our friends should be on the first carriage. Are they? Is this our train? No. <laughs> raining so much yeah but we could get electrocuted forget about the water yeah and it's thunder and lightning and my mountain of a spot has decided to show itself thankfully i'm hiding under an umbrella but anyway we are trying to get to a station and to get home and dry because this is just absolutely ridiculous we get tommy boy and tommy's outside no he's probably dusting in someone's house <laughs> maybe <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Sorry for the abrupt ending to yesterday's day. You saw how terrible the weather got. So we literally had to run to that station and run home and get dry. It was insane. But today is a beautiful day. The sun is shining and we're ready to go 
and play some tennis. Just to give you guys a little fill in on what it was like eating out for the first time. Surprisingly guys, it really wasn't busy at all. Like there was a flood of people at the very beginning. We were told that we only had, could have the table for two hours and we ended up being there for about four or five hours. Nobody rushed us off the table. They were like, it's totally fine, you can stay. So that was good for us. London in general wasn't very busy at all, which was quite shocking and slightly eerie. I'm not gonna lie to you. Food wise, for my fellow plant-based and vegan people out there, this isn't a restaurant for you. Unless you just fancy a standard pizza or a standard like tomato pasta, even though the pasta is questionable. They did tell us at the beginning that the pasta had egg in it and then they decided that it didn't have egg. So I'm not sure. And judging by a little breakout I've had, I've got a feeling it did have egg in it. So the choices weren't great and the knowledge of veganism wasn't good from the waiters, from the staff. So we had about three or four members of staff come up to us and try and deal with us. And they all just seemed very, very confused, which is surprising in this day and age, especially in central London. It did feel like I was in Italy and they, have no, they had no clue what we were talking about. Although it was a lovely place and it was so nice to go out with our friends and just have a nice time, which we really did. Food wise, this isn't one that I would personally be going back to and I wouldn't really recommend for vegans. But yeah, I thought I'd let you know. I thought I'd fill you in. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get going because I really wanna play some tennis. I can't believe how lovely the weather is. I'll actually take you outside so you can have a look. The sun is splitting at the skies and the bed sheets are drying outside. We have been waiting for this moment. We're absolutely delighted that we're gonna be sleeping in fresh air dried sheets. It's really odd actually. The weather app continuously says that it's gonna rain and it was supposed to rain all day today and we've got this beautiful, beautiful sun like blue skies which makes me very happy but we are meant to get good weather next week and you can see all the vegetables are absolutely thriving chard we've got carrots i recently planted some rocket so this is the rocket from last year that just regrew so i just continued the line and you can see how well that is growing last year that's all we got so i don't know something's going well i've also planted out my courgettes and i have a few left but the mistake i made last year was that i planted them too close and courgettes need about a meter the whole way around in order to grow to its full size so i've only got two out at the moment i might put one back there and then i'm going to give away these ones i also planted out the other day the beans they did really badly last year so we'll see but i can already see that the animals are eating them so i'm going to have to look into that the spinach, oh my God, look at our spinach, how amazing. This spinach is also from last year. I haven't replanted it, but I did find out that spinach loves like a bit of cold and wet weather, which is exactly what we've had. So it's thriving. I actually need to pick some because the animals are having it. And I've actually planted some new lines because the weather is still a bit wet. The beetroot is overgrown, but we like to keep it growing for the leaves. We use the leaves. We don't actually eat the beetroot. We keep the leaves and we put them in our juice. And then we've got the celery, which is just thriving. Again, that's from last year. That's Italian celery. And we've planted some kale at the back, which looks like it's not doing too well, but it has just gone in and they're a little bit weak when you first put them in. And we've got more to plant. I've also got our tomatoes out, just getting them ready to go out because we're going to put them out next week. And cucumber, they're not doing so well. I don't understand why, but we have four. So we'll go with four. I'm going to plant a few more. Honestly, I get so much enjoyment being out in the garden, being in touch with nature, growing my own food. It just gives me life and being stuck in the house so much, especially the past year is just not good especially for my mental health and I think most people so getting out even just today just gives me like hope and a bit of happiness because it is hard it's hard times and I just think getting out and connecting with nature and, and getting that sun energy is so important so yeah we're going to get to the tennis courts and we're going to get rid of some of that energy we need and hit some balls out in the sun so we have this fruit what is this again steph steph picked this up but we've never had it before I what it's called it's colombian fruit a colombian fruit that we've never had so we're going to have it now before we have we go and play some tennis because also we don't want it to go bad but it seems ready like it's really soft how do you reckon you're open? i would just cut it like in half would you not no, no. just cut it like maybe the other way all right she's gone ahead 
oh guys if you know what this fruit is called let me know in the comments below because I threw away the packaging and oh, now no. have no idea. Don't you? Oh, it's like a... Oh, wow, it's like, um, what's it called? like a passion fruit. So it's really difficult to get on a spoon, just Slimy. like passion fruit. I'm going to try and show you guys. It looks gross. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> oh my God, that's... Are you okay? I'm nearly sniffing into the fruit. It does, it tastes a bit like passion fruit. And then it's like, it's got pumpkin seeds in it. Yeah, but the seeds, no, but they're like, they've been toasted pumpkin it's seeds. It's like toasted pumpkin seeds. They're crispy. Mm, oh my it's God. It's like toasted pumpkin seeds. I wish I remembered what it was called. It's sweet. Hopefully one of these guys know what it's called and tell us in the comments below. Cause I think that beats a passion fruit for me. Same. And I love passion fruit. Passion fruits are sour though. This isn't sour at all. No. This is sweet. But it's not too sweet. But it's not too sweet. It's absolutely delicious. Oh my God, that's like... I want to drink it. It's like having... It's like crispy, the but seeds. Do you reckon if we keep some of these seeds, we can plant a tree in the garden? Yeah, but... It's not We're not Colombia, are we? You need, so it's not that warm. <laughs> I'll give it a go, though. <laughs> right, oh. we're going to finish these, and then we're going to get going. Mm. 